The pyramids of Giza and the Sphinx are located on the west bank of the Nile, approximately nine kilometers southwest of modern-day Cairo, Egypt. These iconic structures are the last surviving of the original seven wonders of the ancient world, and they have stood the test of time for over 4,500 years. So let's get started. Our journey begins with the Great Sphinx, the mythical guardian of the Giza Plateau, which is carved from a single ridge of limestone. This awe-inspiring statue has the body of a lion and the head of a pharaoh originally believed to represent Pharaoh Khafre, though recent theories suggest that it might depict Pharaoh Khufu or an entirely different ruler. As we move away from our vantage point, we see the bed of the Nile River from 4,300 years ago. It is believed that they used these landings to bring the stone here to erect the pyramids. Moving on, we encounter the famous Pyramid of Khufu, also known as the Great Pyramid. This is the oldest and largest of the three pyramids at Giza and is erected for Pharaoh Khufu from 2580 BC to 2560 BC. It was the tallest man-made structure in the world for over 3,800 years, standing at an impressive height of 147 meters, which is 481 feet, I'd call it 500, when it was originally built, approximately 2.3 million limestone and granite blocks, each weighing an average of two and a half to 15 tons were used.
distance is the Pyramid of Khafre, the second largest pyramid in Giza, constructed for Pharaoh Khafre, the son of Khufu. This pyramid is slightly smaller than its predecessor at 143.5 meters, 471 feet in height. The presence of a more prominent burial chamber as well as its higher elevation make the Pyramid of Khafre appear larger than the Great Pyramid from certain angles. Finally, the Pyramid of Minkui, the smallest of the three Giza pyramids, erected for Pharaoh Minkuri, the grandson of Khufu. This pyramid stands at a height of 65 and a half meters or 215 feet. Although smaller in scale, its more intricate design and the use of red granite in its construction make it a captivating structure. In addition to these primary landmarks, there are several interesting features surrounding the pyramid, such as boat pits, mortuary temples, and the Valley Temple of Khafre. These structures add context to the economic, religious, and daily lives of the ancient Egyptians during the 4th Dynasty. Pyramids of Giza and the Sphinx are a testament to ancient Egyptian ingenuity, resilience, and their deep understanding of mathematics, astronomy, and engineering. It's always important that even with modern technology, we continue to learn about the techniques used to construct these marvels and will likely never uncover all of their secrets. Then afterwards, we go to a working carpet factory to learn how they make these exquisite handmade carpets. If you enjoyed this video please give us a thumbs up and subscribe and let us know what your favorite view or your favorite place in Egypt around Cairo that you really enjoy and always remember keep on traveling keep on smiling and keep on keeping on and until next time we say to you adios